Hey, look what I have here. It's the red iPhone attached to a silver Osmo Mobile. And today I'd like to give you 10 tips about how to use your Osmo Mobile efficiently so your footage looks like this instead of this. By the way, I saw the silver Osmo Mobile at CES 2017. I was a guest speaker at DJI and I talked about Osmo Mobile and this was there and I fell in love with it. So I bought one thinking I'm going to give this to my wife, but it is actually so pretty that I'm going to keep it to myself. I'm going to give her the other one. 10 tips how to use your Osmo Mobile efficiently. Let's begin. Tip number one, balance and calibrate. I'm going to take this off. When you balance your Osmo Mobile, what you want is, as you can see, Osmo is turned off right now. It should stay level. There's a screw here. You unscrew this. Falling on this side, you have to push it in so it gets heavier on that side. But as you can see with iPhone 7, Osmo Mobile is all the way tucked in, but still it's falling on this side. So what you need to do is Pull the phone a little out. When you shake it, if it's staying level, that means it is balanced. Why is balancing important? Let me turn this on. When you're walking, this is happening, right? The phone is staying still, but let's put this phone and let's balance it poorly and turn it on. When you turn it on, it looks like it is balanced because Osmo Mobile is strong enough to bring it back to level. But right now it's wasting a lot of battery and when you're walking... It's not going well, is it? <laughs> Shall I run? So calibration is very important. Also, you may like to calibrate Osmo with your phone attached to it. Let's go to our settings. Let's go to gimbal. And here we have adjust gimbal roll and auto calibration. You can hit any of these and start calibration. And if you get a phone call during your calibration, the calibration will stop. It's all right. Turn your device off, back on and start the calibration again. Gimbal calibrated. Tip number two, knowing your settings. Knowing your settings is important. Let's go to our settings here. We have scene mode. You have to select the proper scene mode. Is it walking or sport? Let me show you the difference. In the walking mode, it's turning left and right with a little bit of delay. But if I switch to sport mode, it just follows me as fast as it can and still keeps things smooth. And then we have the pitch lock. As you know, in this mode, wherever I point, the gimbal looks there, Osmo Mobile looks there. But if I have it in the pitch lock, the pitch always stays the same. But when I look left and right, it will still look left and right. I think we're still in the sport mode, by the way. Yeah, let's switch back to it. I don't personally use pitch lock because I use the trigger a lot. Tip number three, understanding optic image stabilization and electronic image stabilization iPhone 6 Plus, iPhone 6s Plus, iPhone 7 and iPhone 7 Plus and probably the upcoming iPhones have optic image stabilization. And what it is, is basically the lens in your phone absorbs the vibration and it looks at you like a peeping tom. This optic stabilization is a great feature when your phone is handheld. To save power, optic stabilization only turns on when a camera app is active. Some camera apps like Filmic Pro has an option to turn on and off the optic stabilization. And when it comes to DJI Go app, optic stabilization is turned off. Now that's how it's supposed to be so that Osmo Mobile can do its job properly. But there's one problem. When optic stabilization is turned off, the lens doesn't stay in its place as it's supposed to. Watch this slow motion video and see what happens to the lens when I tap it with my finger. 
A big thanks and a round of applause to Apple. The optic stabilization cannot be fully turned off. If you're using DJI Go app for a video shoot and if you're running, you have to run really smooth in order to get that nice smooth flying shot. If you can't run like that, you can always use the regular phone app which turns on optic stabilization and it sort of helps. Right now I'm using the DJI Go app. Now I'm gonna run and you're gonna see some shaking. I'm using the regular iPhone app and I'm gonna run again. Same style. To simulate how fantastic it would have been if the optic stabilization turned off properly, I'm gonna run using the front camera. It's recording. Now I'm running. Which brings us to tip number four. When I'm running, I never hold Osmo Mobile like this. I hold it a little bit forward. I call this sword style so I can absorb the impact and run smoother and don't allow the stupid optic stabilization, turned off optic stabilization to shake. Tip number five, using joystick. The joystick is really useful because if you push the joystick to the sides a little bit, it's gonna start turning slowly. And if you push it all the way, it's gonna start turning really fast. So let's say you're running and then your object, you're catching up to your object. And instead of turning like this, you can always use your joystick and turn your Osmo mobile towards your subject. Tip number six, using the trigger. Using the trigger is really important. It's one of the most important things. To me, it's the most important things when it comes to getting a nice shot because let's say you're running and then you're moving like this and that and Osmo is trying to catch up with you but what you want to film, let's say, is still ahead of you. So if you just hold the trigger down, you can do whatever you want with your hands and Osmo is gonna stay looking forward. Tip number seven, your arms. If your arms are tight, if you're not absorbing the shock yourself, you're gonna shake the camera. Tip number eight, needless to say, bend your joints. Don't run with stiff joints. Bend everything, bend your knees, a little bit give movement to your hips, you know, and be like a ninja. Imagine a ninja. Don't expect everything from this device. It cannot deliver. That's why you see so many videos online that looks completely different. If you don't understand how this works, you're gonna have a bad time. But if you spend some time understanding it, you can make things work. Tip number nine, shoes. I always wear running shoes if I need to run with Osmo Mobile. Always, always. Tip number 10, choosing the app wisely. Now we're gonna connect back to tip number three where I didn't talk about electronic image stabilization. If you're using the DJI Go app and you ran and everything is shaking while the optic stabilization is turned off but the camera is still shaking in the, in the phone, you cannot fix this in the post. You cannot fix this using electronic image stabilization because the footage is not only shaky, it is also distorted. On the other hand, if you like, you can add electronic image stabilization to a footage shot using the camera app and it makes it even better. So you have to pick your app according to what you're gonna do. Are you going to run? I suggest you use phone's default camera app. You can use Filmic Pro as well. That's a really good app and it has image stabilization option where you can turn it on or off. For situations like that, running down up the stairs, running around where you're active, I suggest you use those two apps. But if you want to walk and if you want to use the tracking or something similar, definitely you can use DJI's app. So in order to sum it up, the most important things to achieve a steady shot using Osmo Mobile is balancing and calibrating your device properly, understanding the advantages and the weaknesses of a phone that has optic image stabilization asking DJI to add an option to turn on optic image stabilization, 
knowing what camera app does what and how it will affect your footage and finally walking like a ninja well thank you very much for watching this short but sweet episode and i hope you enjoyed it please hit that subscribe button i must have a subscribe button somewhere here on the screen hit that subscribe button and play ding dong ditch with the bell next to it and join the world domination and please let me know if you have any tips and tricks about using Osmo Mobile in the comment section below. I have nothing to say. And until I see you the next time, take really good care of yourselves and oh shakalas!